Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Sean Stackhouse Reacts. So it looks like the first trailer, the real trailer for Superman and Lois for the CW has dropped today. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen some tweets where people have seen it and they say that it looks like Zack Snyder could have shot this with the way it was shot. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. When we were dreaming about having a family, it didn't look like this, did it? Lost jobs, teens with severe anxiety. Hmm. Parents got teens with soon. severe anxiety. Why'd you move the family here? Still looking for the simple life? Because those days are gone, Clark. Long gone. Is that Lewis's dad? You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. I really wish I could get drunk sometimes. Uh, he's still... Mm, that suit's good, but he still doesn't look like Superman to me. No, we've seen Superman before. We've seen him. Am I a bad father? We're gonna be all right. No one ever dreams about the problems, but every life has them. Even the extraordinary ones. Superman and Lois, two-hour premiere event, Tuesday, February 23rd. All right, so February 23rd. Um, okay, cool. I'm always going to be excited for a Superman TV show, but man, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, th so this is after Superman's long career of doing Superman things. You know, now he's domesticated. He's got a family. He's got kids. And do his kids, by the way, not know he's Superman? Because when he was lifting that truck, he uh, his kids seemed very, like, ah, shuck, you know? And how, how would you keep this from your kids? I mean, did he stop being Superman once he had kids? And if so, <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. See... It's the CW that I don't trust, really. And not so much Tyler as Superman, even though he doesn't look like Superman to me. He's just... Maybe it's because of the way they've treated the Superman legacy with Supergirl. You know, uh, no disrespect to Melissa Benoist and her show, but anytime Superman's been on there, they've portrayed him in a very negative light. Like, uh, you know, he, he said, Oh, well, you know, the earth doesn't need Superman. It's got Supergirl. And he went off with Lois and, you know, had the kid and what have you. And, and just some, some, some ways that Superman, the only thing that they, they actually did correctly with Superman comic book accuracy is the fact that he was the one to close the book, um, from the monitor or anti-monitor, uh, on crisis on infinite earths. Uh, because he is more powerful than Supergirl. So that's been my, my biggest thing, is the way that they've developed the power set and how they've treated the Superman legacy. But this is a new show. I know it's going to pick up from the uh, continue, continue on from the, uh, the whole Arrowverse continuity, and that's fine. But they have an opportunity here to kind of make up for the mistakes they've made with the Superman character. And they've made quite a few. So, of course, I'm going to be watching. I wish it wasn't on the CW, and I wish I had more faith in DC Comics with their live-action content. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it an honest response and, and try. And let me know down below what you guys are thinking and uh, what your hopes are for, what you'd like to see, what you don't want to see. And, yeah, we'll just see. So, until next time, guys, take care. This is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mm. 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 <laughs> you feel that?